Alright, so I'm just starting to pry from the bottom of the right side as this bottom trim piece, it kind of slots in so you have to kind of like pull it out from the bumper so it's best to start from the inside and, course, and pull it out like so so here I'm just showing how it has like a little ridge edge at the side so that kind of slots into the bumper so you can't just like pry that bit out well you can but it would be quite hard rather than if you pry the side that I showed at the beginning and then pull it out from the bumper and be careful not to damage any of the clips so now I'm doing it on the left side it was a bit harder on the left side but I still got it eventually try use a plastic pry tool as well because if you use a screwdriver or anything metal you'll most likely end up damaging the plastic on your car if you don't care about it then go ahead but if you don't want to damage any of the plastics, so I'd recommend getting a plastic pry tool. So there I finally get the gap in between and I slide it up to pop it out from the top bit where my hand is now. And then I just pull from the top to get it out a bit there. And then it just becomes very loose and you can just slot it out. So now that the two side pieces are off, we're going to move on to the main grill. And there's two clips that I point at there. And you just want to pull those out from the spot that they're connected in. But be careful because those clips are very fragile. And on the other side, when I'm getting out the other side, I break one of the clips because it was just really fragile and easy to snap so just take your time with this bit and be very careful or else you might break one of the clips. So here on the other side there's the two clips as well. This side in general just felt more fragile than the other side. So I already knew I was going to break the bottom clip when I was pulling on it because I just felt how weak it was. So there you see it's just broken now. So be aware of that and just try to take your time try not to break it. It doesn't really matter because when I put it all back together afterwards it's still held in there quite nicely and because the end pieces overlap it it still holds on nicely so yeah it doesn't really matter but I would have preferred that it didn't break still so now I'm just pulling out the grill because there's some clips on the top there's maybe about like six of them in total I just keep it up there so I'm just pulling it out and down a bit don't pull it down too much as you might bend the clips so just try pull it out like towards you so the left side came off nicely then I'm gonna go to the right side and pull from the right side to unclip these clips at the top <clears throat> so there I'm just getting a good grip on it and pulling it out so that it could break free to which it did none of the top clips broke when you pull it out some of them look like they're broken because it's just like two stick looking things well not stick looking things but it's like a v shape instead of like a closed clip but that's just how they're meant to look so after pulling that out that's finally out and you've successfully removed the lower portion of your bumper grill. 
So if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, do all of that. And until next time, I guess. Peace.